Royal Split, Meghan Markle and Harry's names removed from Charles' website, curious apostrophe. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's efforts to become more independent are continuing, after vacancies in their royal household disappeared from Prince Charles's website, express.co.uk understands. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry started the long process of separating their household from Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William earlier this year. And now they seem to be taking further steps to become even more independent by relocating all their offices under their own household's attention. The household of TRH the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was previously featured in the current vacancy page in Prince Charles's official website, used by the couple to advertise any new opening position. But, as previously reported by Express.co.uk, Meghan and Harry's names are no longer there. Express.co.uk understands the decision to remove the Sussex's household from Clarence House's vacancy page as part of the transfer of Meghan and Harry's offices and team to Buckingham Palace, which has been initially outlined in March. Earlier this year, Queen Elizabeth II agreed to the creation of the household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This effectively separated Meghan and Harry from Kate and William who have been sharing the communication team at Kensington Palace since the Sussex's wedding in May last year. Meghan and Harry's new PR team will be based in Buckingham Palace, the statement read, and will be overseen by the monarch herself. The statement continued, the Queen has given permission for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to base their household office at Buckingham Palace. Their Royal Highnesses will appoint new communications staff who will form part of the Buckingham Palace communications team and report to the Queen's communications secretary, Donald McCabe. Kensington Palace will continue to support their royal highnesses until that team is in place. Meghan and Harry further split from Kate and William in June, when they announced their intention of setting up their own charity, called Sussex Royal Foundation, to pursue the charitable work they care the most. This new development in the alleged split between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family has been described as curious by royal commentators Richard Fitzwilliams. The royal expert believes the situation is still developing, and it is not entirely clear what this move means. But he acknowledges a serious split between Charles and Harry may lead to severe consequences for Meghan and her husband as the Prince of Wales is the person covering the costs for the Sussexes' offices and royal engagements. Harry and Prince William share about pound four million a year, with the second in line to the throne taking the biggest share of the stipend. Mr Fitzilliams told Express.co.uk, I find that curious. As we know, the household's expenses are paid for by Prince Charles. We will have to watch and see how this evolves, the situation is still embryonic. The indication is that Meghan and Harry may no longer be funded by Charles, but nothing of the sort has been announced yet. It is not clear what this means, Meghan and Harry may have a plan to find funds themselves. This may also be linked to them planning to spend some time abroad. Meghan and Harry have announced they will travel to Africa this autumn in what will be their first official royal tour as a family, as they are also taking with them their three-month-old son Archie Harrison Mount Baden Windsor. While the dates of the tour are still to be announced, the Sussexes are expected to stay in South Africa, Malawi, Angola, and Botswana. This official visit may mark the first step to a more permanent move of the Sussexes to the continent. In April, the Sunday Times claimed the young family could relocate in Africa for two to three years. Express.co.uk has contacted Clarence House for a comment.